Yo, yo, yo! Good morning, Ayon Charles Ignacio. Rachel may be celebrating. And Carla Alison Agam. I'm Joanna Ganja. Rowan Angulo. My dog, Dan. And we are live TV Incredible. And for today's video, we're going to show you the computer assembly and disassembly. So let's go. the parts and the tools that are needed in computer assembly and disassembly. First is the system case, power supply unit, ODD or optical disk drive, FDD or floppy disk drive, HDD hard disk drive, Expansion card or video card, the heatsink and CPU pan, motherboard, CPU or central processing unit, RAM or random access memory, SATA cable, ID and IDE cable, and this is the tool, screwdrivers. Philips screwdrivers, thermal paste, screws, and of course the anti static mat. So, before we start our computer as disassembly, we need anti static. We just need to rub our hands for 10 seconds. and test if it has already anti-static and we're going to start our computer this is the first step is to unplugging the first thing you do is to unplug every cable that is plugged into your computer that includes the cable such as power usb mouse keyboard internet ethernet modem and etc and it's and it is already unplugged Step 2. Opening the outer shell or case. Step 3 is removing the heatsink and CPU pan. Four is removing the power supply. Next is removing the ODD or optical disk drive.
or the random access memory. Next is remove the expansion card or the video card. is the motherboard. We're done with the computer disassembly. Push down the lever and pull the lever to the right. Note that do not touch the CPU contact at any time. Open the CPU load plate upward. Next is align the CPU so that the connection one indicator is lined up with pin 1 on the CPU socket. Next is place the CPU gently to the socket. Next, close the CPU load plate and secure it in a place. Move the lever under the, the load lev lever retention tab. Move the lever back to the left. Installing heatsink and CPU fan. Next is installing the RAM or memory. This is the RAM memory. The RAM notch. Retention clip, the two retention clip, the RAM slot key, and the RAM slot socket.
And now we're going to plug the 20 or 24 pin power connector. And the ATX 4 pin power connector. After installing the motherboard, let's proceed to install the internal drives. So DD or optical disk drive, HDD hard disk drive, and SDD the floppy disk drive. We don't have a slot for the SDD, so we need to we don't need to install this. After installing the internal drives, next is the expansion card. So lastly we're going to connect the internal connectors. First is the Molex power connector. Next is the IDE. So the last one is the SATA power connector. So we're almost done with computer assembly. The last thing we're is we're going to cover the system, the system unit with the side panel. With computer assembly. Hey, that's all for today's video. Again, I am Charles Ignacio. I'm Joanna Ganja. Rowan Angulo. Mike Gablan. And we are the ICT Incredible 2. Hope you enjoy and learn to our blog. Thank you.